Yeah, it's been it's been a long time. I think about fourteen yeah. years. Has it been? That yeah, long? yeah, a long time. I mean, I went back and I did one episode back in two thousand and ten. <gasps> yeah, um, but I didn't. I wasn't on the square. I was on location. I didn't yeah, really see anyone. Yeah. But now I'm, you know, back after. All How this did time. they do that? How did they lure you back in? Well, um, it had been mooted before about me going back, and I'd always said if I was going to go back, I wanted it to be for a really good storyline and something to really get my teeth into. And so um, somebody high up in the storyline department phoned me up and said, here's the story, are you interested? And I thought, mm, that sounds too good an opportunity to miss, really, yeah. and, uh, as an actress and to play. So I would said yes, um, and it's been, it's been fabulous. Did and you have to sort of think quite long and hard about it? Because obviously it has been a long time, and... Yeah. You've got like kids now and you're married and you've got a much calmer life. So yeah. it's quite a big thing to think about opening up that Pandora's yeah, box again. Yeah, because it was kind it? of crazy times when I, when I was there. But um, I think because I was so much more settled now and the kids are, are get, getting older and I just thought, actually, it's nice to go back and do that for me and re-show really people what, you know, how... how Great, the character was really yeah, so. Yeah. So it was, you know, it was quite an easy decision. But it was all a bit of a secret. I mean, you had to keep it secret. It was amazing. Didn't they have to smuggle you in and out of Elstree so yeah. other people couldn't but see? Even the cast didn't know you were going. Yeah, no. Um, when the scripts first landed on my door, um, my character was called Sam. So I, I opened up the envelope and looked at the script. and I thought, oh, well, I'm not in this, <laughs> uh, you know, because because it was she was called Sam. And then I thought, oh, actually. That's got to be me, I'm talking to Louise here. Um, and then all the cast were getting scripts with, with Sam, the name of Sam in it. And, and they had to relearn it on, after they were learning it and they were calling me Sam in the script. Getting on set then and trying to rename me as Lisa was quite confusing. I remember Tish Dean saying, oh, this is doing my head in because, um, you know, I've, I've learned it as Sam now. But yeah, they, get me in, they got me in the car with blacked out windows and wow. um, yeah, the monitors were all on um, In a back on blank. With sunglasses on. Yeah, all that big hat that yeah. said to me. <laughs> did you oh. quite enjoy that? I, I did, I did really, because it kind of made, made it more, more of, um, of an impact, really. Yeah, and I just thought, they're yeah. going to make this something really special. And so how did um, it feel walking... Because the last time you and I saw each other, which was, like, a thousand years thousand ago, years. you were dating Steve. Yeah. You had dinner, didn't yeah. you? So yeah. So how did it feel kind of like walking back onto the set when a whole lifetime's gone past? Um, it, was, it was strange, really. It was just like... It, it was like being a, a first day on a new job again. But within ten minutes... It was like I'd never been away. Yeah. And it was lovely to be working with Steve and Tish and Natalie Cassidy again. It was, it was just being with mates, like yeah. old mates that had my back, that, yeah. you know, they're still there, they've been doing fabulous work, and that I knew that would look after me again yeah. on my return, and that's exactly what it was and, like. And when, brilliant. obviously, your, the, your characters have such an intense relationship, the fact yeah. that, that you guys have a history, does that help in a way? Because you know each other inside out. I don't know. I, you talk about having your back as an actress. You... You know what a little flicker of an eyebrow means. You... Uh, yeah, but, I mean, I, to be honest, it was more about the history between Lisa and Phil, and there's so much water under the bridge with those two people... Yeah, yeah. ..that I just... You just kind of resort back to... To those, to those, really, to those storylines, to the yeah. things that have got, they've gone through as characters. Didn't have to kind of think about me and Steve in the yeah, old days. Yeah. There was so much stuff between Lisa and yeah. Phil that it was easy to play that. And, of course, in the very early days, the, you were... On set with the the doyens, you know, you had Barbara, Barbara Windsor, yeah. June Brown, Pam St. Clement, I mean, Wendy, Wendy Richards, Richards yeah. yeah, all of them. Yeah. Wow. I know. I mean, I just remember, you know, my first day in the Vic and having those faces there and just being terrified, but also realizing what a fabulous opportunity it was, and to be working with these people and just to learn off yeah. them, really, and just go. This is what you do, this is how they do it, and let's just learn and respect And them. with unbelievable audience figures as well. The Who Shot Phil episode, 22 million, you, I'm you, a, I know. you told us. I know, it's and, and isn't it true as well that for that you actually had to learn how to shoot a gun? I did. Well, I learned how to shoot a gun. A real the gun. Second, yeah, well, a real it? gun. The second time round, when Lisa kind of... When she didn't get it right the first time, she didn't kill him. I remember it, there was a Dirty Den storyline, <laughs> and she thought, right, she's got to finish him this time. And Dirty Den got a gun, and it was a real gun, and we practised shooting melons as Phil's head in, um, <laughs> in a disease. A real gun? A real gun, firing blanks that I had to do, aiming at a, melons, a, me a melon as, as, say, Phil's head, in a disused tube station in... Um, I think East Finchley or somewhere like that. Was that um, quite a stress relief? <laughs> I mean, no, it's, it's actually very... It's quite a very strange feeling to be holding a real gun. Is it true gun. that none of you knew who shot Phil? Because they filmed lots of different endings, didn't they? And you didn't well, know which one was going to be shown. I was, to I was told, actually, John York took me up to the office and told me it was going to be me that had shot Phil. But I was to keep it a secret. So, And all the other guys that were playing, that, the, the, um, that they were 
uh, what's it called when they're suspects a yeah. bit. They're basically, they're, they weren't told. They were just told that you're all suspects. And so I had to go back down and say, I'm a suspect, a suspect too. Oh, is it you? So I had to go down and carry on lying. Oh, yeah. And they were going, well, if it's none of us, if nobody's been told who it is, who is it? Yeah. You know, and I had to keep that secret, which was quite hard lying to your fellow cast members, really.